honoring their leader. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, those at Redbird Mission School in Clay County are remembering their executive director, Dr. Taylor Collins. He died last night at the age of 66. We've interviewed him several times. As WYNT's Mitchell Grog reports, he had a close connection to the community he served. The office looked like its occupant had just been there yesterday glasses and an ALA sitting on the desk because Dr. O. Taylor Collins worked for this ministry until the end. Well, he was a person that uh, had been uh, told that he should have already retired because of personal health issues that he had. His life journey began at the Redbird Hospital and he previously worked to rebuild the school following a fire. Dr. Taylor Collins, I often uh, referred to him as I went about speaking in churches and other places as Mr. Redbird because he was literally born at Redbird Hospital, educated at Redbird Christian School. In 2009, he returned and helped keep the finances in the black and his improvements in the educational programs included the eventual resurrection of the school's dormitory program. The people who work here, however, say that is just a short list of what he did for this community. Whew. Take a long page to write it all, I think. Uh, but I'm hopeful that one of the things we will all remember is that he gave sacrificially. And uh, we're called to do no less. Lasting through his 66 years. In Clay County, Mitchell Grog, WYMT Mountain News. Dr. Collins' funeral arrangements are pending. Tonight at 6, you'll hear from the Redbird Christian School's principal as he remembers the mission's former leader.